So we're going to change the uh, serpentine belt. It's the drive belt, which runs uh, the alternator, the water pump, the compressor, the and well, the crank pulley is what rotates it all. The idle tensioner, power steering pump. So that's what it runs. Uh, that's for the GM vehicles. Um, so the GM uses the 2.4 liter Toyota also, but in this case we're using it for the actual Toyota itself. And this is the number that we're using for that. And um, so that's a good... It actually looks a little bit more different on the vehicle than you see here, but that is the way it goes. So you got the crank here, you got the compressor for the AC, you got the water pump right here. You got the alternator and the power steering pump back there and the idler tensioner. And we're going to be using a 19 millimeter socket to get on there. And we just got this, just this bar right here. And, uh, you know, you don't really need it, but it's just going to make it super simple. And it, uh, one other thing to make it super simple is to have two people. One person goes down below and feeds it up. And they hold tension up here while you get it on there. And then the person up top... I come and I pull down the tension and they push the belt on. It makes it 10 times simpler when you have somebody helping you. You can do it by yourself, but it's just a lot easier when you have somebody helping you. So, uh, let's, uh, I think you can see if we get up in here. So just like, just like that's looking. So here we have the alternator right here. Here's the alternator, which is right there, the alternator. And then down below right there, you have the water pump. You can see, and then you got the compressor right down there, okay, compressor, and then you got the crank pulley down there, the big one right there, that's the crank pulley down there, and over there you got the power steering pump, so we're just going to run the belt down there. So I'm going to start at the crank pulley, then I'm going to put it on the idler tensioner, then on the power steering pump on the compressor alternator lastly we'll put it on the water pump the last thing you want to do you see these things like the uh, the alternator and stuff they have a lip on it right here so we we don't want to put it on the ones that have the lip I mean lastly we, we want to put it on the idler tensioner or we want to put it on the water pump because the water pump doesn't have it doesn't have um, what do you call it a lip right there so what we're gonna do is I got my uh, Carlow. I like the Carlow. Well, it's got the uh, swivel head right here, so you can swivel get over, get around these lines. It's a 19 millimeter, and right there we want to get on that socket right there. Uh, it's right there, so we're gonna get right on that thing right there, and we're gonna go clockwise. Okay. You can use other tools, but a ratchet works good for this, and I like this. I like the swivel head because, see, I can maneuver around here, so, and this is a hundred tooth, so I can go like this, and uh, I'll make it real simple right here. This is not really where you need the help, but uh, when you're putting it back on, it's kind of what you're, you're going to need the help. And we're going to do the water pump on this also, so... Uh, let me see, I'll just I'll just do this by myself right here. And then we'll put it back on. So uh grab it. Push it down. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push down here and I'm gonna go on the water pump. And uh pull it off the water pump. Wait, wait. And so, uh, so I just pushed it down, went, went below the water pump, down below it, see if just my hand. down below it, pulled it off, release tension, and it'll come off. Get this out of your way, move it to the side. We just pull it off real easy like wiggle it off of here all 
I could take it off from the bottom or the top, it doesn't matter. Take it off the idler. You really have you really don't have too much room. This is why it's good to have the um, cut on that bolt over there. Cut on that bolt right here. Just cock it sideways, get it around that bolt. A little annoying, you know what I mean? Especially if you're in the middle of the road with it broken, that's why we're doing it now. And I actually show you uh so you gotta cock it sideways to get it out a little bit. And believe it or not, sometimes with some belts you could put them on the wrong way. That's why we want to make sure before we put it on. So you don't even have enough room to... This belt, believe it or not, has uh, 150,000 miles on it. Doesn't look too bad. It's because they put a good belt on it. But you can see uh, it's starting to have cracks and everything. Once summertime rolls around, it just might break. So, uh, what we want to do is make sure it's the uh, right belt, which we already know it is. And uh, get the new belt. We'll just double check. We already know that it is the correct belt. Here, go ahead and grab that end. Grab it. Wind it up. Grab it. So. Pull it on the screen down a little bit. There you go. Now pull it. More. So, I mean, we're pretty sure that's a new one. Like I said, these belts, they're good belts that the Toyota's put on here. Um, but you can see, though, they really are starting to, it's starting to crack and everything. So, I'm going to go below. And like I said, it's a real help when uh, somebody's up here helping. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go below and uh, I'm going to start it off on the crank right here. Go up over here. Go up here. Once I have it here, I'm going to work my way back here. While my assistant's going to be pulling tension here, then we'll put it up here. I'll come up here while they're holding tension, keeping it from coming off of there. And then I'm going to push it down and then push it right back on the water pump. So it's going to be that easy. I think I had to show you, though, uh, I had to show you the, where it's, you can tell where it's going to be. It, it's leaking, starting to leak. The Toyota has this pink, well, kind of like reddish pink fluid. But if you notice right there on the bottom of the water pump, you see the pink fluid starting to come out. See it right there? So that's a good indication. Right there, you see the fluid? You can see it right here. Oh, sorry, I think I accidentally hit the record button. The pinkish fluid right there. You can see it's starting to leak. It's time for changing it. Most people wouldn't change it now, but I am. Uh, it's about time due for it. I, I just go by, you know, I mean, I don't even think in the, in, in the schedule it has to do that in the uh, maintenance schedule, but I mean, I don't think there's a pump out there that lasts, or a pump or a gasket that lasts more than 150,000 miles. And that's what this vehicle has on it. So, what we're going to do is try to get you a little bit out of the way here. I'm going to go down below. Like I said, I'm going to start on the crank, start on the other one. Well, my, well, it's good to have somebody to help you right here. So, I'm going to go down from below. And, oh, it's good to have good lighting too. You guys are in my way. Yeah. 
here. on the crank. What are you guys in my way for? So I'm going to get it on the crank. Okay. Then I'm going to work it around here. Get it to go around the steering pump first. And then I'm going to go up and put it on this. Can you? Can you feed it down in there? Try to. Now that's where it comes in handy to have a um, assistant because if you don't have somebody up there helping you. So I started off with the pair of steering pump and get a little slack. There you go. And I'll start. Hold on. Let's wrap it around here. So I started around the pair of steering pump. Okay. And then take off some of the slack. Alright. So I wrapped it around the pair of steering pump, which I'll show you. So uh, what I did was this is kind of difficult to get to right here, just for the simple fact that um you gotta kinda of bend it. And if you're if you're out in the daytime, you could put set in the sun and it softens the belt a little bit, you know. You don't want to put it in like direct heat. You don't want to like heat it with a torch or something. I started it here and then I moved it up here. You gotta kinda of twist it sideways, put it down here, then I put it down here, then I put it around right here. So this is where the person up on top is handy because they're holding the tension. So now, while they're holding the tension, I can come back up here. Okay. They come back here. And so what I got to do, I got to put it on properly in the back over the power steering pump. Back here, it's not on all the way. Now it's on there. See, now they're holding tension. Well, especially because I'm holding the camera, but you know. Um, so now what we have to do, I got to get a, around that uh, pump right there. So basically, it's going to go down here around that pump. So let's see. So I'm going to get my tool while they're holding it. I'm going to put it on where it goes. I'm going to put it on here. See, I like the swivel because I could come all the way this way. All the way to catch another tooth. See, now I can go like this. And I got plenty of room. I can even throw this on to make it even way more easier. Okay throw this on it'll make it even easier for me okay now she's gonna pull tension here give me some tension now down here put it around Stuck on that little bolt right there. Hold on. 
fold this. Hold it. It's just stuck on that bolt down there in the water pump. It's easier for me to access it. Down here, I'm still on the bolt. Man, that bolt is in my way. Start relieving tension a little bit, relieving a little bit, just a little bit. I should you know, relieve a little bit of tension, just a little bit. I'm going to come back here, make sure it's on, back on here, in the power steering pump, which it looks like it is. I'm going to make sure it's here, make sure it's all the way on here, and then, uh, That. Okay. And I think I messed up. Mm -hmm. I did. This the alternator. What? Is this the alternator? Yeah. It's supposed to go straight to the power steering pump. It's supposed to go in this side. It's supposed to go that way. Oh, you see? I definitely messed up. See, that's why we have this for. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just going to leave it in there. I messed it up. It's got to come back off here. We make mistakes. That's fine. That's why we actually, if we didn't have, so we got to go. Let's see if it's come back up here. Yeah. Hold up. You gotta cock it sideways. Get around on the bolts. Okay. It's up here. So that just shows you right there. You you can get it wrong. And I'll show you exactly what happened. This side goes in. Yeah. So So basically uh yeah. I kinda put it on wrong. I was going down here and down around the pump like that. But it doesn't go down around the pump, it goes around up here, and then it goes down around the pump. Not down around the pump like that. That's why we, like I said, it's important. And I'll actually show you exactly what we messed up on. So, let me get my tool ready. Get it up in here. That's why it's good to have a helping hand while I'm doing something. They could, they could be holding. Okay. So... Let me get an extra tooth right here. There we go. We get an extra tooth on there. Yeah, we got plenty of leverage. Now what you can do, go ahead and get that on there so it makes it nice and easy for you. Hold on, go ahead. Put it on there, nice and easy. Now go ahead and just hold it. Just hold it like that. Now come to the other side. Go to the other side. Here we go. Go to the other side. And right now, guys, I'm embarrassing myself, but whatever. This is what happens. So I'm just going to put this in here. So the hard part, though, is because this is a new belt. And uh, the bolt. The bolts are in the way, so it doesn't just go on there. You gotta, you gotta cock it sideways. It seems like it's gonna be the easiest thing in the world. This is, I got plenty of slack. Let me get my pry bar. I got plenty of slack right there. But I gotta twist it sideways. Okay. So I'm gonna try to. There we go. 
give me a nice little pry, but there we go. So it came off of here a little bit. Now, just gotta put it around this water pump. The bolts, you gotta turn it sideways. Now, I guess the thing that sucks about this, uh, so it came off of, no, I'm going to pop still. Go ahead and uh, pull up a little bit on that. Yeah, go ahead. Pull it out. Pull it up and out. So the head of this ratchet is kind of in the way. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my socket. The head's a little bit too big. I mean, I'm gonna grab my uh, snap on. Just because if you notice the head of it, I'm trying to put the belt on, but the head's too big right there. So, I guess one for the snap on, right? So, go ahead and put this on here. This should give me enough room. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this. I can get this in here. So now I have enough room. There we go. So go ahead and, uh, well, I'll show you. So I kind of embarrassed myself right now. That's cool though. So what I was saying though is uh, right where the ratchet is, when I, when I go down like this, when I go down, you notice the head of the ratchet starts hitting the water pump. <laughs> and when you're hitting the water pump like that, it doesn't allow you to get the bolt on. The other thing too though, these bolts that are right there, you cannot put the, the belt straight on. Here, there's not enough room. You have to cock the belt sideways. And when you're cocking the belt sideways and you're holding the tension off with this thing, when you're holding the tension off when I was using that other ratchet, or that ratchet, it was hitting against the water pump therefore I had to cock it sideways and try to put it on but I couldn't put it on because the head of it was in the way and I could barely just get it with the head of the snap on barely I think next time I do that I'll probably use a, um, a crow strip and that's it let's just double check everything that's on there properly. That's on there properly. Go back and check back there. That's on there properly. Believe it or not, <laughs> in other videos where guys are putting this on, they spend, um, this is on a little bit. This is a little bit off. Don't pry against that. Against that. So I'm just going to push this on a little bit. Push that, sorry, push that on a little bit more. That's it. Now it's on there. Just make sure it's on there properly. That was embarrassing, guys. I think they put that tensioner, they put it in not the greatest spot. Make sure this is on there properly. And uh, honestly, looking at that uh, crank pulley, Looks like it's starting. The uh, balancer looks like it might need one pretty soon. All right, that's it. Um, so what I would recommend is not using the uh, the flex head. I mean the uh, roto head. Just use a regular, probably uh, Harbor Freight stuff will work too. They got a thin head like that. And so we'll just start it up, make sure it's running properly. So what I was doing though, how I put it on wrong, 
was instead of going uh I went down here and up here so I went right here so I went here I went here down and around that way so I went here down and around that way well actually I'll show you let's see pretty lame I know huh? but this is for the the women out there so I went uh basically I went like I went here and I was trying to go around there that's how I was trying to do it so I was trying to do it like that so definitely that's why we write them down and it did actually fit on there like that it was a little bit loose but with the tensioner, it can actually put enough tension where you think it works like that. But it doesn't go like that. It goes like that. And if you got the GM vehicles, it goes like that. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. And uh, don't give me a thumbs up for looking like a rookie. <laughs> Alright, better guys.